coming up in today's episode. Is it okay to exploit animals and abuse animals for five minutes of taste pleasure? <sighs> Hamburgers are delicious. One person choosing to be vegan isn't going to make a difference or do anything. Plants have feelings too. So we should kill <laughs> animals because plants have feelings? No, what do we eat? God says that humans are more valuable than animals. Because humans chicken, are more valuable than animals yes, do doesn't mean that we have to kill animals. Compassion takes guts. Choose veganism. If you look at a piece of meat, do you think of the entire process that the animal had to go through in order to get onto your plate? No, I do not. I just think about what condiments it needs. Why are we here today? Um, for Pride Fest. And what does that represent? It represents justice, equality, freedom of oppression. But what is it that these animals, the cows, pigs, and chickens go through every day of their life? I'm not doing exploiting. But you're paying somebody else that is. Well, that's, that's the thing, but... That puts the blame on other people. Who funds those corporations? BlackRock, Vanguard. But not us? Not so much. So again, we're, we're putting the blame on other people. When we go to the store to physically pick up that item and check it out at the cashier's desk. Right? Well, we bought the product, but those profits aren't being spread out to the farmer so much. He's getting a minuscule pennies on the dollar. So you're worried about the farmers maybe, right? Independent farmers. I don't give a damn about corporate fighting. So this, the smaller people, the smaller businesses that kill and exploit animals, you're okay with? <sighs> See, that's, a, that's the wrong question. It's the right question, but it's the wrong way to think about the answer. It all falls on us. <sighs> I think the exploitation is somewhat necessary. Hamburgers are delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a better way to do it. What would that better way to be? Because I, I don't know. I don't have those answers. We've gone through like thousands of years without figuring out well, the better way. No, no. We've gone through thousands of years and we're still incapable of giving gay rights and everybody else's rights. So, you know, animals are way down the That's line. a great point. Do you think the world would be a better place if we were taught, hey, every animal is considered the same. We're going to respect every animal. We're not going to differentiate and oppress one animal over another. To that point, do you think that we humans can have equality and justice between everyone without first not exploiting animals? You, like I said, hamburgers are good. <laughs> you, you keep coming back to that, but at the same time, you have to think about the victim. If you can have a plant-based option that tastes better than the original, would you do it? I have tried a lot of vegetarian and vegan stuff, and so far, it is not. You should try harder. There's a lot out there. You said it best. We have choice. What about the choice of the animal? When the animal gets opposable thumbs? Do you think in the, the 60s, the 70s, that we would have what we have here today? No. Who does it start with is my point. Well, I mean, it starts with us, the people. Well, I'm a meat eater, so... <laughs> I mean, I gotta have my meat, I'm sorry. Why do we think it, it would be okay to oppress animals, but not others here? I mean, I, I don't know. We have a dog here, and then we have a chicken over here. Which one would you kill for dinner? The chicken. The chicken, why? It's chicken. It's chicken, right? We grew up that way, right? Yeah. Imagine if we grew up doing that to humans. We would be racist, we would be bigots, we would be homophobes. But when we do it to an animal, it's perfectly fine. You you just pointed out, now, ah, I'm gonna have the chicken, right? We were told it's okay to give them a terrible life for our pleasure. I mean, I'm still gonna eat my meat, I mean. What would it take for you to give a shit about other living beings? I don't know, maybe about a million dollars? Yeah, I, I, don't get me wrong, I care about the animals. You care about animals, but you still kill them. So do you also hey, care? I don't kill them. You, you pay other people to, right? I don't so pay nobody to kill them. You, you pay other people to kill animals. Well, no, I don't pay nobody. I just eat them. I can't imagine oppressing animals. Do you consume animals? Yes, I do. I'm guessing you love dogs. I love the Snoopy, by the way. I got dogs, cats, fish, and birds. What if those animals were in place of the cows, pigs, and chickens? And got we a question for you. Sure. Plants have feelings, too. Do they? Yes, they do. So, so look, we should kill animals at... because plants have feelings? No. What do we eat? We can't eat plants. We can't eat animals. What do you suggest? Are you saying that plants feel pain in the way that you and I and animals feel pain? If you tear a living leaf, you see the damage you've done. You sound, like, you sound like a plant's rights activist. So we can grow food from dirt, sunshine, and a little bit of water by picking the plant, the berry out, the tree, whatever we want to do. Okay, what about How lettuce? About, you picked the whole plant. The whole There's thing. many plants. The whole you thing. The whole but thing. But you again, you sound and, like a plant's rights them. activist. Has anybody ever heard of the term plant abuse? Is that a thing? Why is it only brought up when people are defending innocent animals? Well, that's a good question. Why isn't it brought up? Because people like you don't want to talk about that 
plants I do want to talk about it. That's why I'm asking you these okay. questions. That's all. Thanks. One person choosing to be vegan isn't going to make a difference or do anything. Do you think it's justified that we eat these animals when we don't have to? Animals should be eaten. That's just the food chain. That's the natural order. I think what this world is lacking is love and compassion for all beings, right? Not just a select few. With that in mind, why are we here today? We're here to promote what? Equality. Equality. And so because one animal was born a dog or a cat or a manatee, and another animal was born a cow, pig, and chicken, we would never do this to these animals here, but over here we were taught as children, oh, we can totally do this, it's okay. What does that sound like? Does that sound familiar? It's, to an extent, oppression. So you think if we grew up thinking, oh, it's not right to exploit any animal, why not make that the default? A cat will just come up and brush against your legs and show you love, but cows don't necessarily show affection in a standard way that we humans appeal to. If you consume the animal, I think you should learn about the animal first. Learn that the cow is it's just a big dog. They're very loving. If you've ever spent some time with cows, especially when they get to know you, uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's like, wow, why, why can I ever do anything bad to this animal, right? It's the same thing with pigs. Like Pigs are smarter than dogs, even. They're like the fourth or fifth smartest animal in the world, but we subjugate them to the, the most terrible, grueling process of any existence that we would never wish our worst enemy on. I do care about the lives, but at the same time, I also enjoy the rewards and I, I reap the benefits. I'm not going to argue for it to go away because I do enjoy it. If I see that woman or that man over there and like, oh man, they look really good, I think I'm going to r- them. I don't care what they think. I'm just going to do it because it feels good for me. Death is also a natural order of things. So is love. You, you understand what's happening here. You're arguing on behalf of the oppressor. I'm arguing on behalf of my own views. Personal choice is different when it includes somebody else, right? When it includes somebody else's death, oppression, slavery, rape, right? That's Those are ugly things. But because of your own personal enjoyment, you would want it to still continue to exist? I'm saying change it to be a more healthy alternative. Which is what? The answer is to not do it in the first place. Can we talk to you guys? Yeah, absolutely. Can we interview about the animals? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Okay. If one of our loved ones, Lord forbid, would to, was to die, we will hold a funeral for that loved one. Like a squirrel crosses the street and it gets run over by a car. You don't see a whole bunch of other squirrels around that dead squirrel kind of like, you know, oh, <laughs> feeling remorse. What, what if it was a, like your dog or your cat? Would you not hold a, a little service for him? Maybe, you know, put him in the ground and bury him? What, what would you do in that instance? Well, the dog is, is the property of another person, right? A squirrel is nobody's property. When you're talking about property, please keep in mind you're talking about a, a being that has a subjective experience, that feels pain, that bleeds, that breathes that has all of these feelings and emotions that we experience, that's what I mean by we can't really call them property. Like, is it considered property or is it actually considered a life? You're valuing humans equal to animals, am I correct? Not at all. So what if the standard was the Garden of Eden? But it's not. But if we're going to quote the Bible, we need to be accurate in these regards. And also Exodus 20:13, my favorite verse of all is, Thou shalt not kill. I humans. think... Oh, where does it say humans? Well, when you look at the entirety of scripture... Oh, it doesn't, it it, but it doesn't say human yeah, in there. then you look at the New Testament. But let's right? not kill things, right? I respect the Bible, but it's not our cookbook. Let's instead grow things from dirt, sunshine, and a little bit of, of water sprinkled on top and choose the path of nonviolence, love, and, and non-oppression, right? If an animal belongs to my neighbor, I shouldn't be touching it, right? But if an animal is free and I'm in the desert and I see an animal that I can cook... Are you in the desert now? Mm-hmm. Are we in a survival situation but now? Again, it's a choice, right? But, but it's what a about the choice of the animal? Wisdom. By what standard can you tell other people not to eat animals? Who's telling you that? Oh, I need somebody else to tell me? Yes, God. No, it comes, it's innate, it's God. within me. And that's the difference between you and I, is that I happen to believe that my choices come from no, me. Because animals are not made in the image of God. Because we're not all going to agree on our religion. I think killing is a sin, and it was never prefaced, and it wasn't said after that killing animals is or isn't included. So therefore, by default, I will not kill, and I will love and live peacefully as much as I can by default. I think everyone should do the same thing. It, the world would be a much better place in the end. That's a choice. Do you see what I'm what saying? What about the animal's choice? Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, well, what about the baby's choice? What about the baby's choice? You know, baby I, shouldn't be hey, guess them, guess right? what? Guess what? I agree with you. Now, what about the animals? How come you're not standing for the baby? If you're standing up for this, you would by default stand up for this. 
here's the thing, because I have a standard. The standard is the, is the Bible. The standard is God. And God says that humans are more valuable than animals. Jesus did not come Because to die for the humans chicken. are Jesus more valuable than animals yes, do, doesn't mean that we have to kill animals. In what world is like that here's dog the over there? He's not as, as you know, amazing what, as humans. I'm just going to go kick it. There is a truthful standard of what's wrong and right. And, and it's God who gives it to us. It's not your conscience. Us. It's the little who, voice inside who, your head that's telling you, hey, man, I shouldn't do this to this animal. Do you realize that you're you're fighting on behalf of the oppressor? I don't think there's any oppression. <laughs> because you haven't seen it, my friend. If I see an animal and it's hurting, visibly hurting and screaming and yelling that, hey, please don't kill me. I don't want to be here. Don't do this to me. If love and equality and all the things that I'm sure you would preach as well in your own way would be the default. Why would we not extend that to living beings that are not our property? That doesn't want to be my burger. If love is at the root of all of our decisions, why should animals be excluded? Let's strive for a society where every life matters, without exception. Only then shall we forge a path towards peace. Please visit patreon.com forward slash save lives. For as little as $3 a month, you can help us save lives and reduce animal suffering. Everything helps, and your help will save lives.